happy breakup season. I just came back from a trip with my family and I think the last time I saw them all together was in Alaska. And then my friend Zoe called me and she said, hey, this time when we talked last year, you know what we talked about? Breakup season. Every year around springtime in Alaska, everything starts to melt. You can see the earth beneath the snow unearthing. There's a lot of mud. It's just kind of a mess, but it's also very beautiful because it's so symbolic. Well, everything is sort of melting and uncovering a lot of the junk that you used to bury. Now it's all just, it's all just coming up to the surface. Like spring in Alaska is not a pretty season. <laughs> it's the grossest season. Breakup isn't the prettiest time, but a period that brings the most evident change. A period of unearthing after a season of wintering, where the transition is the event itself. A reminder that in completing a cycle, you allow room for something new. I'm always very inspired by the seasons to kind of do like a little spring cleaning of my life. Clear the old for the new. Fuzzy sheets are leaving for the season. Okay, I'm gonna try to tackle my closet. First of all, it's just like a mess that has just been sitting there. And some cleaning too. <laughs> I swiffer. Yeah, I, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to tackle this right yeah. now. <laughs> Should I just go over it. You think it would help? <laughs> yeah, I've just been like moving it for the last months. Ninety percent there. Yeah. Just need that ten percent. Yeah, you're right. I'll give you a pat on the back once you do it. Okay, fine. I'll work towards that. We're making very, very good progress. I keep all of my. Boarding passes, I don't know why. Wee! Looking good. Looking at these clothes, they're all like winter clothes, all turtlenecks. Very, very well loved. And it just reminds me of a certain era in my life where I want to move past from. I actually wore this for our BuzzFeed photos. She was just like, someone wear pink, so I was like, okay, I've worn this a million times, and this is the last time I am wearing this. Shopping is not my favorite thing, but I do love thrift shopping. So, I actually got some clothes from ThreadUp. And thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. ThreadUp is an online consignment and thrift store for your closet, your wallet, and the planet. Also where I got this shirt, my new favorite shirt. My roommate actually, actually told me about ThreadUp and she is fashion queen. She actually picked me out some things because she's also making a video. I love their mission, which is to encourage shoppers to think secondhand first. You can find one of a kind pieces because it is a consignment store for really great prices. I I really like that it just came all from one platform instead of coming from a bunch of different sellers. If I want to return any of these things, I just return it all to one place. So I am genuinely excited about a lot of the pieces that I got from ThreadUp and also the ones that Ashley picked for me. Shout out to Ashley. So I'm going to show you all right now. This top is from Urban Outfitters and it was $19.99 and it retailed for $60. And my jeans are Levi's and they were $24.99 and they retail for $60. Ashley picked me this cardigan. I literally don't have a single cardigan. All of my sweaters are either crewnecks or hoodies from my roommate's merch. And so I was like, I need to find a cardigan. I don't know how she read my mind, but I love this cardigan. I love this color. This cardigan was $22.99 on ThreadUp and it retailed for $74. This is also from Urban. I personally just love pants like these because they're very functional and comfortable. So I don't know, I've been wearing these a lot. I've been wearing Elliot's cargo pants. Wash them again. And so I thought that I should probably invest in my own. These are Amadi cargo pants. They retail for $143 and they were $37.99. This is called my Ashley outfit because everything that I'm wearing except for the cargo pants are things that Ashley has gifted me. This top is also from Urban Outfitters. $16.99 retails for $44. You can get 30% off your first order on ThreadUp and free shipping if you use the code Anne Marie. Link will be in the description. Oh, it's spring now? Yeah. It feels like spring. <laughs> I was just saying, yeah, because I don't know how there's so many like. Dust bunnies? What are they called? Lem Dust bunnies? No, it starts with an L. What is. Can you describe it? <laughs> the little like fur thingies. Oh, that's like on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Kelly, what are those uh, <laughs> thing called that like build up of like cloth or whatever and what? Uh, you know what I'm talking about? 
I don't know. Dust bunnies. No, it doesn't. Lint? Lint. Lint. <laughs> Hey, we've been there before. We took a thumbnail right there. Oh my gosh, McDonald's! <laughs> you take me here on purpose? That's where uh, I took Emery on the date. I know you're hungry and so am I. So I made reservations at... McDonald's. <laughs> it's McDonald's, huh? <laughs> Goody! Does anyone want to go on a date with me? Anyone? And we had McDonald's. Editor, cut that out. <laughs> I need to turn this off. If you saw my last video, it was called The Truth. And in the video, me and Kelly and Luke all talk about our date video. That was kind of a result of me just not having anything, anything to post. And it was not representative of me and Luke's relationship at all. I'm going to invite Luke to come into my video and see what he has to say. I was kind of stressed to post a video. I was stressed to post a video on Wednesday and then I took that footage and I posted it. And we didn't have any drama. And it just And then it created drama. drama. And I think it also was a poor representation of our relationship and it made you kind of look bad. I agree. <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. I think the comments were just, you know, everyone has their own opinion and it's hard to see through a camera what we post online. You can post anything which can be perceived in any way, which is very representative of how that video went. Yeah. Me and Anne Marie's friendship is just very jokey. Yeah. And we tease each other a lot of times. You could just see us play fighting and be like, oh, they're fighting. Or they're like beefing. Yeah. It's so fast paced too, like it doesn't give you a lot of time to think yeah. about what you're doing sometimes and the repercussions yeah it's really like oh i have to upload a video no one else saw it except me like no one could look over my shoulder and see like oh you probably shouldn't post that <laughs> but i gotta post it so i'm gonna post it yet again you don't really like know the ins and outs of the video the behind the scenes our like actual chemistry and relationship and how we like joke around a lot to each other we just talked about this like we do want to portray our friendship as like we're really good friends and we don't want it to seem like there's any tea or any drama or corn and the beef. I'm just <laughs> ranting and everybody's going like this. Sorry for making you look bad on the internet. It's okay. That's a valuable lesson. <sighs> My backpack. Oh. <laughs> we got a million burritos. Just like in a backpack. <laughs> Cold brew. My favorite. Papa Ganoush. <laughs> what? <laughs> Inspired by our lunch. Baba Ganesh? Eggplant dip. I love Baba Ganesh. Hummus. Some chicken. Mmm. Lots of bananas. Mmm. Wow, more burritos. Mmm. Wow, more burritos. Elliot's favorite butter. Raspberry for the antioxidants. Mmm. Mm. Chocolate. Mmm. And some pizza. Um, I cleaned my room. Oh, you need to see it so I can get a pat on the back. <laughs> Wow, very good. Very good. I want it on this one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Another thing I realized is super important is organizing music. Music really helps affect your mood and just the overall vibe. And I've been teaching yoga and my playlist sucks so much where it's actually a detriment to the students taking my class. So I'm going to take the time to curate a beautiful playlist that I actually like. This is a candlelight class, a hot class, so I'm gonna set up all the candles. The candle light yoga was a hit, and my new playlist was so much better, like so, so much better. It makes it way more fun for me and for everyone else, and just the entire vibe and energy of the class. So, a very much necessary thing to do that I've been putting off, I don't even know why. And my theme of the class was breakup season, and shaking off old to bring in new, so that was really fun. For our spring equinox. Oh, 
I'm excited for this new season and for what's to come. Another reminder that you can get 30% off your first thread up order as well as free shipping with the code Anne Marie. The link will be in the description box. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.